guys, this is Haley from OneOwnerRabbits.com and today I'm going to be doing a video all about sore hocks. Sore hocks, also known as pododermatitis, is where the bottom of a rabbit's foot becomes raw or inflamed. Sore hocks can be very serious, causing oozing ulcers which can develop into infections. Sore hocks can be so painful that it can hurt your rabbit to even walk or stand. A pale pink callus covered by a flap of fur is completely normal for your rabbit to have and is not sore hocks. So now that you know the basics of what a sore hock is, I'm going to be showing you how to check your rabbit for sore hocks. Sore hocks are typically found on your rabbit's rear feet towards the hock. It can also be found towards their toes and also on their two front feet. So what you're going to want to do is get your rabbit in your lap and just pick up their front feet like this and kind of scoot their bum up. So now that you have them in this position, you're easily access the back of their feet, which is typically where sore hocks is found. So now that you have your rabbit in position, you're gonna take the fur on the back of their heel and just fold it over like this. Underneath there is normally no fur and a pink callus or pink skin although some rabbits may not have this. Um, but if your rabbit has sore hocks, you're gonna see redness and scabs. So if you can see right here, this is Lulu's hock, and it is pretty red and also has a little bit of scabbing on it. Now, another place to look for sore hocks is towards your rabbit's toes, which is right by their claws. So you're just gonna kind of push the fur away and look for it there. You can see here, Lulu's is just pink, so that is very good. Um, but then you can also take their front feet and look for sore hocks as well, which Lulu is not being very happy right now. <laughs> so here we have Mocha, and I'm just going to peel the fur back by the front of his toes, right where the claw connects to his paw. And normally, when you look there and your rabbit has sore hocks, there will be a red bubble. So as you can see with Mocha, he has a ton of fur on his hock, which is really good. And there isn't much of a bald spot at all. There is still a bit of redness, but that is okay um, as I am still treating it, but his are pretty good. So now I'm going to go over the causes of sore hocks. These are the, some of the things which can cause sore hocks in your rabbit. One of the things that can cause sore hocks in your rabbit is extended periods of time in confined spaces like your rabbit's cage. When your rabbit does not have enough exercise or enough time outside of the cage, it causes them to sit around a lot more, which causes a lot more pressure on their hocks. Another thing that can cause sore hocks in your rabbit is inappropriate flooring. A lot of people think that wire flooring is the only flooring that is bad for your rabbit. That is not true. There is a lot of other floorings that are not good for your rabbit and can also cause them to develop sore hocks. Wood, tile, linoleum, and carpet can also be problematic for rabbits. Some rabbits can live their whole lives on these types of flooring and be completely fine. But with some rabbits, these types of flooring can cause a lot of problems. If a rabbit is overweight, it can cause them to stand incorrectly, putting a lot of pressure on their hocks, which can cause sores. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about how to prevent your rabbit from developing sore hocks. So one of the first things is appropriate flooring. Now I've already talked a little bit about this, but I can't stress how important it is to have appropriate flooring for your rabbit's cage. So in the wild, on the grass, the rabbit's foot is able to bend properly as it is able to sink in and provide the foot to bend. So hard surfaces like linoleum does not allow your rabbit's foot to bend properly and that can be very uncomfortable for your rabbit's foot, causing them to develop sore hocks. So this is an example of appropriate flooring for your rabbit's cage. This is my cage and I have tons of layers of towels and fleece or memory foam mats with fleece on top. You want to make sure that the material you are using is not abrasive. Carpet is very abrasive for your rabbit's feet, so that is not something you're going to want to use. You're going to want to use something more like a cotton sheet, some fleece, or some towels. 
My personal preference is fleece as it is very colorful and cute and pretty and it makes your cage look really nice. Another way to prevent it is to have clean cages. You don't want your rabbit hopping around in their own urine or their own feces all the time as that can cause a lot of problems for your rabbit's feet. So just make sure that you're cleaning your cage regularly and also cleaning out your litter box. For rabbits who have really bad sore hocks, it might be best to switch your litter to something um, softer, more like a Carefresh type litter, as that is more comfortable on your rabbit's feet than a pellet type litter. Another thing you're going to want to do is let your rabbit out for exercise. This is very important. Rabbits need at least two to four hours of exercise time per day and rabbits who don't get that are more prone to sore hocks as they're just sitting around in their cage. Also exercise is very important for their mental health and also their overall health. Make sure you're clipping your rabbit's nails regularly so that there isn't a ton of pressure on the back of their feet. And last but not least, make sure your rabbit has a healthy diet. A healthy diet will prevent them from becoming obese and is also very important for their overall health. So now I'm going to move on to the treatment of sore hocks. This method was recommended by the Wisconsin House Rabbit Society. They use it all the time with their adoptable rabbits. I've also heard vets recommend using this system. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I make the solution and then show you how I treat the rabbits. So what you're going to need is a bucket to mix the solution in, the chlorhexidine solution, this is a solution used for treating wounds and stuff by vets. You can purchase it on Amazon for fairly cheap. Um, this whole gallon cost me only about 20 bucks. There is another name for this solution. This is called chlorhexidine, but there also is a name brand for this called Nolvasan. You can use either one, except chlorhexidine is like way cheaper than the Nolvasan. Uh, the Nova Sand would have cost $90 for a gallon, but this only costs $20, so it is way cheaper to get the off-brand off -brand chlorhexidine. And then you're going to need a tablespoon and also something to measure um, water with. I use something that has ounces on it because I am using ounces for this, so if you have like a measuring cup that is in ounces, that would work great. Another thing you're going to need is some sort of thing to soak the solution in. So right here I have a pillowcase and then I also have a t-shirt. Either of these things will work. Um, this material is best. It's, nice, uh, it's a nice cotton material so it's not abrasive and it's very good when soaking your rabbit's feet. So you're going to want something among this material. So you can use a large t-shirt or a pillowcase. Either one works well. The first thing you're going to want to do is place your bucket into a sink or a bathtub or something just so that you don't make a mess everywhere. Then you are going to take your chlorhexidine solution and your tablespoon and measure out two tablespoons of chlorhexidine and place it into your bucket. Once you've measured out your chlorhexidine, you're going to go ahead and take your measuring cup and measure out 30 ounces of water. By the way, the tablespoon, if you add two tablespoons, it equals one ounce. So the measurements are one ounce of chlorhexidine for 30 ounces of water. So we did two tablespoons, which equals an ounce, and now we're going to do 30 ounces of water. So this is 16 ounces, then I'm going to go ahead and do 14 ounces. And then I go ahead and take my tablespoon and mix it together. So next you're going to take your pillowcase or t-shirt, whatever you have chosen, and just go ahead and place it into your bucket. So once you have it in the bucket, just make sure it gets completely soaked and just really get it all wet. And then you're going to go ahead and take it and squeeze it out. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of the solution left, so you can just set that off to the side and use it for next time. Next, you're going to need somewhere to put your rabbit while they are soaking their hocks. And I have just built this little thing out of NIC grids that I use. You can use your kennel that you would take your rabbit to the vet in. I, that's what I used to use. But I found my rabbits were digging up the pillowcase or t-shirt, whatever I was using, 
and then they would just stand on the plastic and they weren't soaking. So what I do is I just spread out the fabric, place it down, and then I place my wire on top so that they cannot dig it up. Then you're gonna need a rabbit and place them into the cage and then I just go ahead and close the door so that they don't escape. And you're gonna wanna let your rabbit soak their hocks for 20 minutes twice a day. Now, with that being said, some sore hocks are worse than others. Some are just red and irritated looking, but then others are all scabbed up, um, some ooze, some start bleeding. If your rabbit's hocks are really severe, you're gonna need to take them to the vet immediately. If you see any blood or anything like that, that is serious. Um, now, if it's just red and inflamed a little bit, you could go ahead and do the chlorhexidine solution and that should clear it up. Um, but if it starts to get worse, you're gonna wanna take them to the vet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope this video gave you a better idea on what sore hocks is, how to prevent it, and how to treat it. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below or feel free to shoot me a private message. I'll see you guys soon on a new video. Bye! So crazy, they eat every piece I drop on the floor. I have gone through half of a 60